Who can do it? Giving you the flexibility to move your belongings out the minute you purchase your new home. Stop by today or give us a call. 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool, clean, and secure. This is Bill Parker with Parker Insurance and Realty, your locally owned and operated independent insurance agency. We specialize in home, auto, commercial, ATV, motorcycle, and boat insurance. Being an independent agency, we have the ability to find you the best price available to suit your insurance need. At Parker Insurance and Realty, we can help you package your insurance or find the specialty insurance required to get you covered. We are your source for any real estate needs, whether buying or selling, we can help you. Give us a call today so we can discuss your insurance or real estate needs. Parker Insurance and Realty, 265 South Macon Street, 427-9345. That's 427-9345. Hello, friends and neighbors. At Mike Burns Ford, we're offering the best prices of the year. The Ford Friends and Neighbors Year-End Sales Event. Ford Motor Company has authorized X-Plan discounts to everyone from now to January 4th. Low interest rates for qualified buyers, huge discounts, plus special offers from Mike Burns Ford means all new Fords at the lowest prices of the year. Get over $10,000 off on select new Ford F-150s. Finance with Ford Motor Credit, get another $750 rebate. You want to save even more? Come to the house, good service bill, and we'll give you five free oil changes while in 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on any new Ford we sell. Timmy Roser, Joey Lee, Bart Duncan, Randy Williamson, and Tracy Ross are ready to get you the best prices of the year. Stop the search. Come to Mike Birch Ford, the dealership where friends send friends and neighbors are welcome. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Ford vehicles. This is Sammy Dixon saying thank you. Thank you very much for your business. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazen Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. And good morning, one minute after 8 o'clock, you're listening to The Big Dog, WIFO-FM in Jessup, 105.5 on your FM dial. Butch Hubbard here with you, Tuesday morning, 24th day of uh, November. 34 degrees here in southeast Georgia, uh, mostly sunny today, high today of around 64 degrees. The autumn will hover, also 10.7 feet and steady. It is now time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Waycross Highway, by Parker Insurance and Realty on Macon Street in downtown Jessup, Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, and by BNC Collision Center in Scriven. And Micah Kicklighter is in here this morning from the Downtown Development Authority. Good morning, Micah. Good morning. Oh, uh, good morning. And you're sitting there uh, all bundled up. Is it cold out there? You're yeah. freezing? <laughs> <laughs> freezing. All right. It's time to talk about the Christmas parade today. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Mike Randall is in here with me. Um, so we can talk a little bit about the Christmas parade and encourage everybody to get their entry forms in. Okay. Mike, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing fine. Doing fine. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, uh, we still got openings uh, for floats and uh, golf carts and cars and horses and entries for the parade. You can pick up those forms at the chamber and get those turned in. The deadline for those is actually next Wednesday, December 2nd. Um, okay, get, next Wednesday, December 2nd to put an entry into this year's Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. How much is the entry fee? $35. $35, and then there's going to be all kinds of uh, winners this year, right? Yeah, so we've got different types of winners. It'll be um, one of our biggest big things is the grand prize, the best of parade. parade. You'll get a 10 to 30 second. Um, if, they, if you win that, um, you'll get a 10 to 30 second ad on WIFO, um, a quarter page ad in the Wayne County Magazine, recognition in the business news of the Press Sentinel, and also recognition on the Chamber's marquee okay. as well. So that's the big prize. So that's the, the big prize, and then you got prizes for different categories uh, in the in the uh, parade, right? Yeah, and they'll, they'll announce those as the winners come out and stuff okay. like that. And they'll announce the winners the following week after the parade. They'll do it on the radio and also do it through the newspaper. And one thing we want to encourage is the fact there's going to be thousands of people uh, lining the streets of uh, Cherry Street and also First Street. Uh, people start putting their trucks and chairs out there the night before or the afternoon before. And so if you want exposure for your business, uh, for your charity organization, for your church, or any activity that you're involved with, this is fantastic exposure to get a lot of eyeballs and ears on what you've got to uh, uh, say and to what we can see. Exactly. So enter into the parade. Have fun. Yes, please do. We've, 
we, we've gotten some, but not a lot. So every, I know everybody likes to wait until the last minute, but please try and get those turned in as soon as possible. Okay. Um, and like Mike said, you can pick the applications up at the chamber, and it is $35. And we do need, you know, if you're driving, we do need the license of the person that's driving and also the insurance card. Okay. So those are very important um, things that we're going to need. Okay. So, folks, enter the parade this year. You can enter as a, any type of um, entry you want to, from a big one down to just a golf cart or a bicycle or whatever you want to do or walk or whatever. Uh, and uh, the theme of this year's parade, once again, is traveling home for a southern Christmas. Okay. We also have a lot of pre-parade entertainment. We have the middle school majorettes. They're going to be there. Twirl Dolls, Angelique's School of Dance, Gina's Gyms, Wayne County High School majorettes, and Jason Powell, the winner of the ArchFest solo competition, mm -hmm. he's going to be performing as well during that time. That starts at 5 o'clock downtown, um, at right at the main stage right there on Cherry Street. Okay. So that's going to start at 5 o'clock, along with pictures of Santa over there on the Chamber Lawn and everything. And then we also have a Christmas Parade Market that begins at 4.30 um, right down the street, which will have like different craft vendors and food vendors and stuff like that throughout the parade time and also during that pre-parade entertainment. Okay, so all kinds of free parade activities going on in downtown Jessup, so you can get there about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, enjoy all kinds of activities. Of course, shop at the local downtown merchants. They'll have big sales going on uh, for your Christmas and holiday shopping. And then, of course, the parade starts at 7 o'clock. Is that right? Yes, sir. Starts at 7 o'clock, so uh, if you want to enter into the parade, put an entry into the parade, just go by the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce or give them a call for more information at 427-2028. Uh, looking for more entries into this year's Wayne County uh, Christmas Parade, Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade in downtown Jessup, coming up Saturday week. Yes, and we also want to recognize um, our Grand Marshals this year of the parade um, are the Chamber's annual award winners, which were um, Edna Williamson, who is the Distinguished Service Award winner, Jim Fountain, Excellence in Agriculture Award, Elizabeth Copeland was our Ambassador of the Year, and Autumn Hall Federal Credit Union was Small Business of the Year, and Donnie Ray was Business Leader of the Year okay. um, award winners. So those will be our Grand Marshals of the parade this year. And then we also want to say, of course, thank you to our sponsors, uh, because without them, we wouldn't have a parade. Okay. Um, our presenting sponsor was um, is Remax, and then we have uh, gold sponsors, which is Walmart and Rainier Advanced Materials. And then we also have our silver sponsors, which is Wayne County Industrial Development Authority and Wayne Obstet Obstetrics and Gynecology. And then we have some bronze sponsors, Country Financial, O'Quinn & Associates, Boykin Steel & Crane, Interstate Credit Union, and Allstate Insurance, the Hearst Agency. And then if you um, look in the old Neesmith building, um, in the windows, we've got some of the banners that actually the um, art club at the high school, they painted them for us. So we want to say a huge thank you to Miss Laura Gregory and the art club for pay taking time out to um, paint those. And what it's kind got, of uh, banners are they? It's the, um, our sponsors oh, their sponsors. logos okay. mm -hmm. so they have their logos that are painted and they kind of have a little bit of a christmas twist they added some like santa houses up uh, santa hats and um, lights and so it's kind of there's their logos but a christmas theme oh good so thank good. you so much look to forward to club. seeing those down there i hadn't i have not noticed them yet but the uh, batter's up with the sponsors there in the yes. old walker chevrolet location in downtown jesse mm -hmm. all right the christmas parade coming up on the what's the date again seven the fifth. The fifth. <laughs> the fifth. Oh, the fifth. It's not on a Monday. Not on Tuesday night. On Monday <laughs> Tuesday. night. On a Monday night. Uh, it's going to be on the fifth of December. Fifth of December in downtown Jessup on that Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, just all kinds of stuff going on. So if you're if you're working, if you're a business out there and you want a lot of folks to see about your business, uh, you know you don't have to put you know days and hours and hours into a, a, an effective, good looking um, entry. I mean, you can spend an afternoon get it all together and look really good uh, going through downtown Jessup and. And a lot of folks can see your your business, your church, your charity organization, or whatever group that you're involved with that you want folks to know more about. Right. And part of that is, you know, we ask for them to submit a small, you know, short bio right. that um, our MCs will announce. And that, you're right, it's $35 for advertising in front of thousands of people. Right. So take advantage of it. And if you'd like to be a part of the Christmas parade this year, please do stop by and um, fill out an application. You know, we encourage businesses, churches, schools, clubs, any social groups, any organization, you know, anybody really, okay. um, please submit something. 
Um, it should be a big parade this year. We're really excited. Yeah. We've worked, our committee's worked really, really hard um, this year to make it even bigger and better than last year. Yeah, a lot more than just the parade itself. you got all those pre-parade activities going on. you got the entertainment and the, uh, the, yes. the market set up downtown mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff going on. Businesses open up in downtown Jessup for your shopping convenience before the parade with all kinds of sales going on. So um, it's going to be fun. I mean, it is. Folks, um, like I said, they take this parade here in Jessup very seriously every year. It's just amazing to me on that on that Friday afternoon, you'll start seeing trucks backed up and SUVs backed up and just parked there overnight. You'll see chairs set up getting ready for that parade on Saturday night. Right. And I will mention um, the streets will be closed on Saturday at 3. At 3. Mm -hmm. okay. So just make plans for that. We've got to start getting the lineup you know, ready to go and getting everybody set up. So um, it will close at three. Okay, the lineup will be as normal down Broad Street there, uh, just yeah, all the all way down, down, all the way down Broad Street, both sides, both sides, yeah. both sides of Broad Street uh, off of Cherry Street. Right. Okay. And I just want to um, also kind of expand on um, the Christmas, I guess, what was it called parade market. Um, that's something different that we're doing this year. And um, so we'll have a few different food type vendors that um, you know people who are watching the parade can stop and um, get. I think boiled peanuts will be there this year, and mm -hmm. so there will be food vendors, and they're also going to be like craft vendors. Okay. So um, if you want to find some crafty items that are really good as gifts, um, we've got some vendors set up for that too. So it's something different. Um, we want to encourage everybody to still you know shop in our downtown businesses. A lot of them close during the parade, but before and after some of them will be open. So. Um, we just wanted to give people another option um, to shop downtown. Okay, sounds good. Wow. And uh, coming up on December 5th, and that's always a big parade. We encourage folks to go ahead and start making plans to be there and having fun. Right. And I'll be in tomorrow morning again to talk about um, our downtown businesses and what will be going on this weekend. Right. But then I also want to mention that, um, you know, we'll have our tree lighting ceremony. Um, it's the third, fourth, and fifth is when our kind of open house is. So um, I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But we'll have Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, they'll be down all you know Thursday, Friday, and then we'll have Santa on Saturday. Okay. So Michael will be in, back in the morning to talk about the different businesses that will be open on Thursday. Uh, in downtown Jessup, different activities going on Friday and Saturday and the following weeks leading right. up to Christmas uh, as we uh, feature these businesses here in Jessup. We have a... <laughs> Big, busy next two weeks Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do yes. that Christmas shopping right here in town. That's what Bob does. Bob just, he's like me. He just goes downtown Jessup and goes in and out, and, and they do the shop, uh, wrapping for you. And the next thing you know, oh, you yeah. got all your gifts, and it's all done by hometown folks who know you when you walk in the door and, mm -hmm. and treat you like family. Yeah. I think well, I've walked into David's of the family. a hundred times in the past two weeks. <laughs> I walk in and see something, and then I walk out, and then I go back in and go get it. Uh -huh. I've almost got all my Christmas shopping done. Well, oh, bless your feet, picking heart. <laughs> But yeah, and then Bob will be downtown today to do the second part of the remote. So everybody stay tuned and listen to that. Yeah, Bob was down there yesterday between 10 and uh, 12 going in and out of the businesses, talking to the different business owners about what they have going on for the Christmas shopping and holiday shopping. And Bob will be down there again today yes. from 10 a.m. to 12 noon and uh, listen to Bob four times an hour during 10 to, to 12 to talk uh, as he talks to the different uh, business owners and managers in downtown just about they, their uh, activities going on for the holidays and Christmas. Right, Bob? I'll be there. You'll be there. <laughs> Bob's going quiet this morning. Yeah, Bob's over there just quiet. I don't know why. Are you just... excited for the parade, Bob? I'm excited. <laughs> sure. Bob will be that's, doing, that's a, he'll be doing a remote during the parade, too. So is it going to be you? It'll be me. It'll be you. Yeah, Never I'll mind. I, Sorry, Bob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be doing the parade as, uh, as normal, um, getting the list of uh, all the different uh, entries and the bios on them and, mm -hmm. and talking about the sponsors and the different activities going on on that Saturday afternoon and evening. Great. All right. Anything else going on with the Christmas parade? It's got a lot of work. A lot, a lot of, work of work between now and the 5th. If anybody wants to help, yeah. volunteer. What time's the entertainment starting in on that Saturday? Five. Five o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's going to be we at, have the a main, lot of entertainment at the main stage where mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right downtown. Yes. MCs, you have two groups of MCs or just one? I know two. Two. two stages. So I know Mike Long and Pam Hotire are one. Yeah, we'll be on stage one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know who the other two are. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure. What, stage two? Yeah. Stage two. It'll be Jamie and myself. Oh, oh okay. there we go. All right. <laughs> no, Got he knows because he's going to be there. <laughs> oh, and also, I completely forgot about this. Um, Teen Challenge is doing a Jingle Bell run, which yes, is actually that morning. Yes, Saturday morning. So if you want to run and the yep. color run. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a run with color, Jingle Bell run. There's a 5K and a one-mile fun run walk. Um, starts at 8 o'clock down there at the fountain. 
on December 5th. Um, entries are between $15 and $25, and t-shirt giveaways during that time and everything like that. Okay, why is entry $15 to $25? Uh, it's $15 for um, school age, uh, anyway that's 18 and under, uh -huh. for the 5K, and $25 for adults, Okay. 18 and over, and then it's $10 to do the one mile. Okay, just the one mile fun walk yeah. and support. And you say uh, uh, run with colors, what kind of colors should we So with? it's going to be red and green. Red and, and green. green. So so where for where Christmas. your Christmas? Where are your Christmas red? stuff? And we will have color powder and everything like that going on down there. Um, and the money raised from this goes to support Teen Challenge. Goes support Teen yeah. Challenge goes yeah. to the scholarship fund to for us to be able to house students and, and take care of them while they're with us. Okay. And if folks want to know how to register for this in advance, how to do that? Uh, they can either – they can stop by Cafe Euro. They can uh, fill out a application form there and, mm -hmm. pay, and pay their entry there. They can pay their entry on active.com. Active.com? Active.com. Okay. Active or they can actually call me directly at 532-0005. Okay. And give them your name again? Mike Randall. Mike Randall, folks. Mike Randall. I'm excited for this run. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it. Are you going to do it? You're yeah, going to be up so. there at eight, before 8 o'clock? Yeah. All dressed up in your red and green? Yeah. Okay. Is it. that like your pajamas or what? No. <laughs> I'll be in like shorts. I don't okay. know. It's going to be cold. It's according to what the temperature is going to be <laughs> yes, in the morning, right? Exactly. Okay. So uh, no, that's so coming up on that Saturday morning, the 5th, 8 o'clock in downtown Jessup at the depot of the Fountain. That's where it'll start. Mm -hmm. Go by Cafe, uh, Cafe Euro to get your um, entry form or go to active.com. And uh, you said they're going to be T-shirts or what? T-shirts uh, given away. Um, if you pre-register. Pre-register, get uh, a T-shirt. Pre-register pre before the event, you're guaranteed a T-shirt. If you come the day of the event and register that day, it's Pot a luck. Pot luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So that's going up on that's uh, that 5K uh, run and the one-mile fun run walk that morning, yes, the 5th, before, uh, before the parade starts that night. All right. Anything else? Michael? No, if you have any questions, call Miss Francis at the chamber, 427 227 okay. I almost said 1313. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the thing. 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 That's the we're bagging for a thousand kids. It's not very many. So um, I got a bag of, uh, or actually a box of um, trash bags that were donated by the hospital. So thank you so much to them um, because that is a large part of the toy drive. It's not just the toys and, you know, monetary donations. We got to have trash bags to bag them in. So thanks to them. We also picked up um, from L Rhonda Landon Photography when she did um, last weekend, bring in a toy and you get a picture with Santa, um, two boxes full of toys from that. So that was very successful. So we're so grateful to her um, doing that kind of out of the kindness of her heart. Um, she didn't get anything out of it. Um, so thank you so much to her. And we also picked up um, a box of dolls from the fire department. They collected, somebody dropped off a whole bag of dolls. So thanks to them. So we've got um, all around, we'll be going to the hospital pickup um, next week, their toys and um, their donation. Okay. So we've got boxes kind of scattered all throughout. Um, Cafe, I'm about to drop one off at Cafe Euro. I know Shauna Quinn has one, Rainier. They're kind of just scattered. Um, so if you'd like to donate a toy, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, we try and ask for a toy that's over $5, um, but kind of under that $15, $10 range, somewhere in between there, um, which can be kind of hard. But um, we do ask for toys that are over $5. New, unwrapped, just bring them by. And, of course, we have boxes at City Hall. So we'll be taking those. We really we take them all year long. Uh, but we'll take them until um, December 1st. And that's when we'll actually start bagging the first of the applications that we've gotten. So um, uh, some of the students from Student Council, they're going to be helping us this year bag some of them because it takes a really long time to bag for 1,000 kids uh, because we do try and look at their yeah, forms and see what kind of some of the things that they'd like to have. We don't want to just give them whatever. Um, so we take into consideration what the children would like to have. So, so once you get them in the back, what do you do with this? Um, well, what we How do you get them to the families? Or well, whatever. they come to City Hall. The so families come to City Hall and they get them in a bag, right? Yes. So okay. a lot of them, um, I hope kids aren't listening, but a lot of them have their kids with them. And so we like to put them in the black bags so they can't uh -huh. see any of them. Right. So um, parents, you know, they come up, they 
fill out the application. It's very detailed. You know, what would they like, their sizes, mm -hmm. uh, if they need clothes or shoes. And uh, then we take them, and Rosie kind of punches it into a into the computer, and we print out labels that have their first and last name. And then when we start bagging, we take each of us take one form, mm -hmm. and if they've got five kids, I'll bag for five kids, oh, okay. and they each individually get their own bag. So oh, cool. you can see where it takes a long time because most of them do have more than you know two or three kids. Right. So um, and then we just stick the label on the bag and. Put in the hall. <laughs> How far in advance do the parents come in? They already started to come in for oh, this yeah. application. Mm -hmm. So you got the ones that are going to be up to the. Yes, yeah, started at mid November. Uh, well, we are, I feel like, end of November. It was beginning of November when we beginning started November. taking okay. applications. And like within the first week, we had like 150 kids already. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, you can imagine the number that we're at now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're taking any toys, any donations. I did that one year. Um, uh, I had a whole bunch of gifts from my. Uh, three grandsons and uh, you know some of them were pretty big and awkward looking and you get it's not really easy to wrap and I'm not much of a rapper anyway so I just pulled the old Santa Claus I got one of them big uh, lawn and leaf trash bags big black thing put all the toys in there and and, and brought them in there and they just thought that was the coolest thing now the, <laughs> the rest of the family the adult was just rolling their eyes like you didn't take the time to dog go wrap the things no i didn't you know i just happened a big old trash bag and just started pulling oh that's for you and that all the grandkids thought it was great mm -hmm. but they I, and i'm sure the parents probably when they once they take it home they wrap them but yeah. we don't we don't have time to wrap them yeah. um because we're that would you be a lot to, yeah, of toys, yeah. but yeah, we're still taking um, any donations, any any types of toys from ages newborn to 18, um, any clothes that anybody would like to donate, um, or any shoes we would okay. like to take too, um, because a lot of our the older kids in that group age group will take clothes and they would like to have clothes, so right. um, anything like that. And again, trash bags, and that sounds silly to ask for trash bags, but we do need them and they are huge costs that we have to take out of the money that is donated to right. the toy drive. So, so. Did you, so you you need more even the hospital gave some? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so big, mm -hmm. like 30 gallon. The, no, the big ones. Oh, like the bottom leaf ones like 48, that. 48, I think. Yeah, the big 48 mm -hmm. dark black heavy duty yes. type of bag, right? Yes, okay. please. And so um, we go to some of our, you know, Dollar General, Fred's, Kmart, Walmart, asking for donations and they're very good about um, donating yeah. some of that stuff. So. Um, but we can always use more. All right. Sounds good. And, of course, we'll have Micah back in tomorrow to talk about the downtown merchants. They're going to be open on Thanksgiving and the different activities they'll have going on in downtown Jessup between uh, Thursday all the way up to Christmas. Right. Got well, a lot. See you in the morning. Are you still going to be taking donations like on December 5th? Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So this is Teen Challenge. What we'll do is if you're going to run in the 5K, if you bring a toy for the toy drive, uh -huh. well, the day of the event, right. we'll give you a $5 discount off of your run. Okay. Brand new right. toy, original packaging, not wrapped. Okay, five dollars off uh, for the five k and one mile uh, yeah. on that um, Saturday the fifth. Yes, gonna be in the run. Okay, well, thanks for coming in. We will see y'all. Thank you. See you in the morning, Mike. Okay, all right. One hundred five point five FM in Jessup. We'll be back more of the world famous Butch and Bob show in a minute. It's that time of year again, and the holiday rush is on at your Sears Hometown Story in Jessup with amazing doorbuster deals this Thursday from 6 p.m. until 11 p.m. and Friday from 7 until 7. You'll find aisles and aisles of doorbuster savings, including 55% off a Craftsman 230-piece mechanics tool set, just $89.99. And save 40% or more on name-brand appliance doorbusters, too. Check out these unbelievable doorbuster deals. A Kenmore front float lock repair for just $799, a 57% savings. A Kenmore dishwasher for just $199. A Kenmore Elite 29.8 cubic foot stainless steel trio refrigerator, just $19.99, a 48% savings. Or how about a Kenmore Mossy Oak camouflage chest or upright freezer at 54% off for only $6.79 each. Use your Sears card for 24 month special financing or an extra 5% off. Even more great savings continue through Wednesday, December 2nd on a wide selection of seven day specials that include super buys on tools, lawn and garden appliances, and more. You'll find holiday savings in every department at your Sears hometown store, 977 South 1st Street in Jessup. 822, 105.5 FM and just a big dog country radio, world famous Butch and Bob show for this Tuesday morning, 24th day of November. And Bob just two days away from Thanksgiving. It's here, Thanksgiving weekend, right around the corner. Big weekend, big weekend in football, right? Oh, man. George, George Tech, Virginia, Virginia Tech, NC State, North Carolina, Ohio State, Michigan, Auburn, Alabama, USC, UCLA. It's going to be a fun weekend, Clemson, South Carolina, so. Just a big rivalry week and still shocking news out of LSU that they're going to depart with less miles at the end of the season. Just, just. Yeah, what happened there? Here they are right in the top 
in the nation, and they lose to Alabama, and it's just been downhill ever since. Uh, ever since, but they're not happy at Baton Rouge, and they said they're going to buy him out. A nice tune of fifteen million dollars. I bet he's looking forward to getting that check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That door. But that's the word. You know, they said the chance of him coming back was zero percent. So yeah, the Saul's press conference yesterday didn't look very happy. But so he's sort of, out of there, huh? I mean, two, three weeks ago he's ranked number two in the country, and <laughs> then he lost to Alabama, and then he lost two more. So it's been a tailspin. That's 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 the thing they said is the problem. They said losing Alabama is one thing, but the after losing Alabama, you know, the tailspin. Yeah, from, yeah, you got to bounce back from that, you know. But, like but I said, yeah. he's 0 for 5 against Nick Saban. They want somebody in there that they can beat Saban, so good luck. But I'm sure Les Miles' phone will be ringing off the hook all these oh, yeah. openings. He'll be leaning somewhere. So. Yeah, he'll be somewhere. It's just it's kind of, you know, we're in that, what have you done for me lately? It's, it's oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, the, the coaches will play musical chairs after the season's over. And the man won a national championship not long ago, so just it's just very you know just interesting to see what's transpiring at LSU. Yeah. Sister's not happy. She's an LSU graduate. She called yesterday. She's fuming. <laughs> she can't believe they can't move. Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> She's a big Les Miles fan. Oh, okay. So, but everybody wants to be national champ, but only they, one person can be, or one team can be. Nature of the beast. Uh, be interesting. And still a lot of rumors in Athens, you know, just don't know how it's going to play out. But not a lot of people happy with that performance this past Saturday against Georgia Southern and going overtime. So, but Florida went to overtime because Florida Atlantic, Citadel beat South Carolina. So it's just one of those weekends. But the rumors in Athens continue to get louder and louder. I do that. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens after the Tech game and then go from there. Because a lot of times these decisions are made between then and whenever the ball game is going to be, you know. So you can go ahead and get that recruiting in. All right, you're listening to WYFO FM in Jessa. And uh, you said there's uh, Wayne County basketball? Basketball night, Bacon County coming to town. So we'll be there for that. Cool. Okay. So have a full report tomorrow. Girls are just rolling at 5 and 0. So they're a talented girls team this year. That's the big story right now. They're undefeated. So hopefully they can continue that tonight. They okay. should should roll over bacon. Is that five and seven, or whatever the times are? The girls will play, and then the boys will play at the Benny Ratliff Arena against Bacon County tonight. The girls at six. The boys at seven thirty. Okay, six at seven thirty. Boys came at four. So the JV girls for some reason not playing, but the JV boys are playing. So starts at four o'clock. The JV boys and the girls at six, and the boys at seven thirty. Well, it looks like from your news reports there that once they combine the uh, drug enforcement uh, from the county and the city together, they've come out with guns blazing in a sense uh, out of the full, full throttle and uh, making some arrests there when it comes to the drug situation here in Wayne County. I said Doug Lewis spoke at the city meeting and talked about the cooperation and Chief Takaki joined in, but they're very happy with what's taking place and they think that they're going to make a lot of progress in this war against drugs here in Wayne County. So hopefully some more arrests and you know, wishing the best, but it's a big task. But they said they're taking it. I think Doug Lewis's comment was failure is not an option. Well, way to go, Doug. Yeah. Um, and if you know of any illegal drug activity, you can always call the sheriff's department or the city um, police department and um, and report. It's a it's a problem in every single city and every single county and every single state in the United States. And so law enforcement has to be diligent. And it's good that uh, that the Wayne County Sheriff's Department and the city was able to get together and combine their forces to to make uh, drug enforcement uh, um, uh, a higher priority and uh, and make some arrest here in just Wayne County. I said everybody in law enforcement seems to be very happy with what's taking place yeah. and the city and county like the cooperation. So. So they save the money as well. So, well, you know, you combine forces together. You know, it's that synergy together. You know, two, two people working together can do a lot. Can do a lot more than just one person can. Uh, more than twice as much. And then if you combine them to, two together, they can do a lot more. And I, I think we're seeing that with the cooperation with the drug, drug enforcement agencies of uh, Wayne County Sheriff's Department in the city. And they've got the pedal of the metal, and they're making the arrest and. Um, and you know a lot of this has to do with uh, citizens stepping forward and and uh, reporting in illegal drug activity to the county and to the city. Yeah, Mike Deal mentions at the Tuesday meeting they're going to come up with a tip line too. You know they have a tip line in Savannah. They're going to get a tip line in Wayne County. So 
Well, hopefully they'll get that set up soon. And as soon as we get that number, we'll pass that information. So if you have any information, you can call that tip line and, you know, give that information on there. So, okay. Hopefully they'll always get that set up very soon. Okay, that's a tip line. You know, you see that um, on the Savannah TV stations all the time, the tip line. Uh, folks can uh, call in anonymously and, and, uh, and give um, uh, some information to the police department. Anything else going on, Bob? Anything else on your mind this morning? No. All right. Well, we look forward to listening to your reports from downtown Jessup from 10 to 12, talking about the downtown businesses. All right. 105.5 FM in Jessup, big.